NBC's America's Got Talent claims it's trying to find the best talent in the country, but is the production as pure in its intent as it claims to be? Like many ratings-hungry reality competition shows, the series has faced allegations that elements of the production are rigged. But is there any evidence that parts of America's Got Talent are indeed fabricated? Let's review. Unvetted Veteran You can't always trust those heartbreaking contestant backstories, especially in the early rounds. America's Got Talent ran into a serious fact-checking problem in Season 7 when singer Timothy Poe's story fell apart. If tomorrow never comes. Poe told the show he learned how to sing to help get over a stutter he developed after being injured while serving overseas as an army sergeant. I, I had got hit by, by a grenade in Afghanistan. And after his audition aired, reports surfaced that his inspiring story was false. While he did serve in Afghanistan, it was only for a month and there's no record of the grenade incident. To make things worse, a photo Poe provided the show supposedly of him in uniform was actually another soldier entirely. Plus, audio later surfaced of a stutter-free Poe calling his inspirational ailment into question. If that wasn't enough, he also lied about serving and getting wounded in Iraq. Producers later clarified that the show only does background checks on the top 48 contestants, so they simply took Poe at his word. Crying Game Season 2 runner-up Cass Haley claimed that during the audition process, he was manipulated by producers into triggering a young female contestant to cry on camera. It was an incident he later called, quote, "...the first time I realized I couldn't trust these people." Waiting in the green room with other hopefuls while the unnamed singer performed, a producer entered the room and told everyone she had made it, so they should get ready to cheer and clap. Haley says she entered the room, everybody cheered, and she broke down crying. Turns out, she hadn't made it, but the producers purposefully misled her fellow contestants into cheering and clapping to trigger her tears, at least according to Haley. Fine Print Watching the show, it seems like getting the majority of the judges to give you a thumbs up qualifies you for the next round. However, according to past contestants, this is not necessarily the case. Season 10 competitor Kayvon Zand said he received three yes votes in the preliminary round, but was told in a generalized email from producers that he would still have to wait to find out if he would actually appear in the next round. Zand's claim was echoed by Season 7 comedian Sammy Obeyed, who said he earned the necessary amount of yes votes, but was later told he was put on standby. While Zand and Obeyed both wound up making it to the next round, it looks like not everyone who earns the judges' favor actually gets to advance and could be secretly eliminated without getting a chance to perform again, a fact the show conceals. Controlling the narrative While the show makes it seem like the contestants get to choose what to perform, some reports claim producers have a heavy hand in determining what contestants do on stage. After he was eliminated in the second round, the street performer and magician known as Special Head posted a video on YouTube of an act America's Got Talent allegedly wouldn't allow him to perform, appearing to levitate another person while producing lightning from his fingers, a follow-up to his self-levitation that won him the first round. The tell-all book, Inside AGT, The Untold Stories of America's Got Talent, confirms that the show does get to ultimately choose what happens on stage. While the artist is allowed input, the final decisions are all made by the show. Whack Magic for the initial audition and judge cuts, America's Got Talent is not a live show, and some believe this could open the door for fraud, specifically regarding magic acts. Speculation bubbled to a head in 2017 when famous YouTube skeptic Captain Disillusion posted a long video explaining how the sleight-of-hand magic act of so-called visualist Will Tsai was almost surely faked by producers using some CGI and creative editing. As Disillusion explains, Tsai is famous online not for his practical close-up magic tricks, but for his nifty post-production video skills. So his America's Got Talent performance was most likely pulled off in collaboration with the show's producers and post-production team, something the show did not advertise. Disillusion also notes that this wasn't the first time the show used editing in a magic act. It's a reality show. It's all fake. They can do whatever they want. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.